Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Source Code. My name is Deshaun, and today we're going to be looking at how to quickly get into in using the debugger inside of IntelliJ. Now I'm not really going to be going over the debugger itself per se in IntelliJ. I'm just going to show you guys how you can implement your plugin in your server with IntelliJ and sort of debug through there. So kind of a little bit different, but kind of the same thing. Um, if you guys have been going on GitHub, you guys probably have been noticing there's no code on there. Uh, that's just because obviously in these first couple episodes, we really haven't been hitting any code. Um, I can go ahead and pop this code in here that we're gonna be working with today. Uh, although it's gonna be pretty useless and you're probably not gonna learn a whole lot from it if this is your first time uh, with the series. Um, and we'll get into explaining more of this stuff here, but I just needed code to be able to uh, work with something. So, okay, so inside of here, we can see there that we have uh, extends Java plugin, extends command executor, or implements command executor. We have our on enable, and then we have a command here, which is going to be test. And then in our plugin.yml, we have it in here as well. Okay, cool. So what we need to do is let's go ahead and get full screen here. So to work with the debugger, if you're using the most recent version of IntelliJ, you should have this little section over here, which is sort of like your debug section and your build section. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and click add configuration. If you don't have that section though, uh, what you can do is you guys can go over here to run and then edit configuration. We're gonna go ahead in here and click the plus sign and we're gonna go down to see draw application. Now you can do this with remote, um, I just feel like the jar application is a little bit better though. Okay, so path to jar is going to be your path to your spigot jar. So mine's on my desktop, 1.3 server. We'll go ahead and click OK. And now this path here is actually, the working directory is actually just the directory of your, your server. So we're going to go ahead and copy this and we're just going to go ahead and paste that in because that is our server. And we just want episode 3 and that's pretty much it. We can go ahead and click apply. Pretty easy stuff right there. Well, we probably should give it a name. So let's go ahead and say spigot. Okay, now we can click apply. Oh, one last thing. <laughs> Two last things, one last thing. Uh, we want single instance only. Okay, cool. So now click okay. And now what you also need to do is you need to set up your artifacts. So if you go ahead and click F4 on your keyboard once you're inside the project window here, uh, we can see here that in our artifacts, which we'll just copy that, we'll just delete this here. So we'll go ahead and click the plus jar we want from modules with dependencies we want episode three go ahead and click okay and then we're going to go ahead and just paste in our plugin directory now keep in mind it has to be inside the same folder or inside the same yeah inside the same server folder that your you link the spigot jar to inside of your uh debugger so now what we can do is you'll want to go ahead and export a version or build a version of this for IntelliJ to work off of. So we're gonna go and just copy this. We'll just actually clear that. And let's just go ahead and say, git server dot git console sender dot send message check color dot aqua. This command works. Just so we have something to see there uh, and we know that the command is working. So let's go ahead and build that first. Now you don't have to, you have to have it built at least once uh, so that way your your IntelliJ knows what it's basically what it's working off of. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and click this little bug here, or it should be a bug on pretty much every version, even like even the earliest versions of IntelliJ. Um, but I would recommend updating to the latest version if you haven't. I think I already said that, but it's just really good to be always working on the most recent version, most recent stable builds of things. Obviously not the most recent beta versions of builds, but we'll go ahead and click this. And you can see here that our Minecraft console actually starts to print out inside of our IntelliJ, which is like really, really awesome. And this is going to be really, really helpful. Uh, I don't have the latest version, so it's going to tell me that I need to wait 20 seconds. This used to be 15 seconds. I don't know why they increased it to 20. Um, probably to convince people to update more. But to be honest, it's such a pain in the butt to do build tools because even on a good computer and decent internet, it still takes a little while to download. Okay. So you can see here, all of our Minecraft stuff is loading up, which is really awesome. 
Now, we don't have to use the Windows console. We don't have to create this run bat. Well, this run bat here, which I have uh, pulled over from my other screen. So we don't have to create this run bat, uh, which is really nice. If you wanted to use remote, uh, which I'll link to down in the description, uh, you can do it through your remote or through your bat. But we can see here that our server is done loading. So now we can go ahead and join this. And look at that. Now we have a console printout of us joining the server. And now if we go ahead and do slash test, we can see there that it says this command works. Obviously in IntelliJ, it's not going to go ahead and print out in that particular color. So I guess that is one downside if you really care about that during your debugging or during your development stage. Uh, it's not really, uh, it's not really a, a big issue to me personally, um, but console colors, um, only like when I actually put in like um, handmade debuggers like debugging um, printouts uh, is when I kind of care about color because I want to be able to see them quickly in my code uh, or in my console. But anyways, so we can see here that if we do this now, it just gives us that console printout. So what we can do now is if we go back into our code here, we can go ahead and we can paste this old code in. And now what we can do is we just go ahead and click this little hammer and it's going to load it in for us uh, temporarily. It doesn't actually change the jar file. So if we go ahead and do slash test here, you can see there that we got an error because we have player sets to null. Um, but now I just wanna show you guys something. So if we go ahead and we stop the server and we restart it, wait 20 seconds. Now that we're back in our server, if we go ahead and do slash test, you can see there that it goes back to what we started as because we didn't actually rebuild the project we didn't actually rebuild the artifact. We kind of just made a temporary build of what we were working on. So it doesn't actually update your the last build you had. Um, it really all it does is just basically put in the this temp. It basically just injects this temporary code into your project. Well, on your IntelliJ, the code is changed. Uh, on your jar file, it's not. So that's like pretty nice. So if we go ahead and rebuild this now again, you can see there that we're going to go ahead and get an, oh, nothing changed since the last time I updated this. Uh, so let's just go ahead and rebuild. Let's add one more exclamation point there. There we go, now we can rebuild. And now if we do slash test, you can see that we get a really giant error, but what's really awesome, so what we can do now is we can actually start clicking on all this stuff and it's going to bring us directly to those classes where the errors are occurring. Obviously, the one caused by is the most important one. So it's caused by null pointer, which we have a null here. So we're having a null player and we're trying to send a message to nobody. We can actually go ahead and just click episode three, Java 20, which uh, your classes should show up in blue. And then the um, package or APIs will show up in gray. But if we click this, we can see here that it brought us directly to where our error was, which is like pretty awesome. And it's you are awesome. Yes, IntelliJ debugger, you are awesome. But it's nice because now we can work through this code. We can say, oh, where's that error? Instead of, you know, you should still read through this entire stack trace. But now we can just quickly click this, go back to here and we say, oh, there's no player. Okay, so let's just go ahead and say bucket uh, dot get player. And we'll go ahead and say uh, Malik Debusic. Cool, so now we can rebuild this and we say, hopefully this works because I know my player name, um, test. Hey, it works. So that is what's really awesome about this. Now, if we really wanted to, um, now that this, now we were, certainly want this change done on our jar, we, we can go ahead and build our pro, or build our artifact. And now we can go ahead and reload the server. And you'll see here in our debug that the server is reloading. So reload complete. And now we have that version on here. So that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed this video on how to use IntelliJ Debugger, uh, be sure to leave a comment down below. Uh, if you've used IntelliJ Debugger, um, let me know your experiences below. I'm really curious to see how everyone's uh, fared using the debugger. Uh, and if you have problems with the debugger, go ahead and leave a comment. Uh, we'll try to get to it. Usually the best way to get help is to join our Discord where we have a team a huge team and a huge community of developers and learning developers who are more than willing to help you out on your coding adventures. So be sure to join our Discord. Thank you for watching this episode, and I will see you guys on Tuesday. Take care.